Okay, we're going to practice linear programming via the graphing method. So the first step is to rewrite these equations so that it looks more like a traditional line, meaning we want the y by itself. So on this first one, I move the 5x over, and then I'm going to divide by 3. On the second one, I move the 3x over, excuse me, 2x over, and then I'm going to divide by 3. Okay. So now both lines are written in a form that I'm going to be able to graph them. Because of the last condition, I know I'm going to be in the first quadrant, so that's all I'm going to be drawing. And it's going to be helpful for me with drawing if I know the x-intercepts as well as the y-intercepts of these lines. So to find y-intercepts, I just look at the number at the end. To find x-intercepts, I'm going to plug in y equals 0 and solve for x. So the x-intercept of this line is 6. I'm going to do the same thing over here. and I get an x-intercept of 21 halves, which is 10.5. Okay. So my first line has a y-intercept of 10 and an x-intercept of 6. This is the line y equals minus 5 thirds x plus 10. My next line has a y-intercept of 7 and an x-intercept of 21 halves. This is the line y equals minus 2 thirds x plus 7. I do still need to draw the vertical line x equals 4. It's going to be somewhere over here, but I'm not entirely sure if it will be to the left or to the right of that intersection point. So first, I'm going to find the intersection point. This is the point where the two lines meet, so I'm going to set them equal to each other to find it. To make this easier, I'm going to clear all the flat fractions by multiplying by 3. So I get that x equals 3. Okay. I am going to want the y-coordinate eventually, so I'm going to go ahead and find that. I can find the y-coordinate by plugging x equals 3 back into either of the originals. So this point is going to be 3, 5 which means the line x equals 4 is to the right of it. Okay. Now, I want to know the region, so I'm going to go back to each line and place arrows. For my first one, y is less than minus 5 thirds, y is less than the minus 2 thirds x plus 7, x is less than 4, and I have to stay inside the first quadrant. The overlap excuse me, it went a little bit too far there. The overlap is this little region right there. Okay. It has one, two, three, four, five corner points, many of which I already know. I already found the three five. This point is zero seven. 0, 0, 4, 0, and this point will must have x equals 4 because it's on the line x equals 4. It's also on this line, and if you plug in x equals 4 to there, you end up getting 10 thirds. Okay. All right, the last step is to actually find, in this case, the maximum. So I'm going to make a table and for each of them, I'm going to compute the value of the objective function. Placing all my points here. And then plug them in. I get 21, 0, 16, 26, 27 which means this is the place where the maximum occurs, and the answer to the problem is the point 3, 5.